Hey there, everybody. Good morning. Welcome to this installment of 7 Minutes in the Morning. My name is Tom Rigsby, your host. Let me try something here real quick. There we go. That's better. Hey, uh, thanks for joining me on this magnificent Monday morning. Hope you had a great weekend. Restful, rejuvenated dads. Hope you had a great Father's Day. And you're back on Monday, ready to get started. Look, somebody has an opportunity this morning to beat Joe to the punch. If you're watching up, oh, no, there you go. You lost. If you're watching live or watching on the replay, do me a favor and leave a comment, say hi, wave, thumbs up, like, whatever is appropriate in the venue where you're watching because there are people watching and listening to this all over on uh, Facebook, YouTube, iTunes, TuneIn, Stitcher. Where else? There is somewhere else. I can't remember. Anyway, wherever you're watching it, thanks for being here. And if you're not already here, head over to 7minutesinthemorning.com so you can join the live stream and join the conversation. Good morning to Joe. Good morning to Cliff and Abby. Happy to have all of you here. And if you will get your uh, good morning in, uh, in there, I'll give you a good morning back before we get off the air. All right. So today, this one came up this morning uh, quite by accident. <laughs> but I thought it actually was a, a great topic, and it is comparison. And uh, I, I titled, I, I left in the title or the description day this idea about playing the comparison game and are you winning and are you playing well? That was a little bit of a teaser because the comparison game, oh, let me give you this quote. This is one of the greatest philosophers of our time, although he is, I don't know, I won't say maligned, but he's not often held in high esteem as a philosopher. Mark Twain, comparison is the death of joy. Comparison is the death of joy. And so the title for today's show is compared to what? What are you comparing your results to? Not yourself. Your, yourself is an entity. All you can do is compare your results. Your results are what you have control over, right? And if you are spending all of your time comparing them to someone else, you have made that someone else your yardstick, your measuring post, your ruler. Who says they're the, the yardstick to measure by? Maybe you're the new yardstick and you're here to replace them. But if all you have is a, is a ruler, a 12 inch ruler, can you ever measure anything greater than that? Nope. You're always going to be limited to that ruler. We get, we fall into this trap a lot. Uh, in business especially, because we start talking about competition. Oh, the competition's doing this. I need to respond. Oh, the competition introduced this new product, this new service. They're open longer. They're open more days. They're doing, right? It, it, uh, Any time we're talking about competition, it's inevitable you get into a comparison, right? It, it's... I agree that it's a smart thing to know what the competition is doing, we need to talk about who your competition is, but it's a smart thing to know what the competition is up to, but it's not an arms race. Just because they open an extra day, you know absolutely nothing about why they opened an extra day, even if you think you know you don't. They're not going to tell you, and even if they tell you. Hey. See, here's the thing. Let's get into this competition thing for a minute, because comparison really is a competition, whether it's in business, um, whether it's personally. I mean, if it's at the gym and you're just, you know, working out against somebody else, whether they know it or not, how fast you're driving down the road, whether you get who gets to the next stoplight the first. But, I mean, it, all comparison is competition. So the first thing you have to be really smart about is knowing who your competition is. I tell people this all the time with their business. So who's your competition? Well, it's this, this, and this. Okay. Well, really? I, I have redefined competition for business as your competition is whoever's getting the dollar today that you want tomorrow. 
Who's getting the dollar today that you want tomorrow? That's who your real competition in business is. And your real competition, when you look at it that way, whether it's in business or your personal life, working out, house, car, whatever, boy, that's going to open up a whole new can of worms, isn't it? House and car. I mean, how many people buy a house that they can't afford to impress people that they don't even like? And in order to do that, keep jobs that they really hate. That just ah, it blows my mind. Anyway, competition, when you are competing against someone else, you, you are giving over control to them. And I do have a ruler here. And this one is, I think this one's six inches. But, I mean, if that, that's a six-inch ruler, you'll never be able to measure seven inches. You'll never be able to go beyond this limitation. And when you are comparing yourself to someone else, this is Mark Twain's quote. Comparison is the death of joy. When you are comparing yourself to someone else, you'll never be better than they are. It's impossible. And what if they're not the best? Compare yourself, compare your results, not yourself. Compare your results today to yesterday's results. Now you have something to improve. Right? I mean, that in, in a lot of respects, this is why golf is such a great game. Because even though you're playing with a lot of other people on the course, you're really only playing to better yourself. Can I do better than I did yesterday? That's the real comparison. And if you will engage in measuring that, that's one of the things I've been working on here. Well, I'll show you that real quick. That's a little sheet. <laughs> Not showing you the details. No, that's a little sheet, a little worksheet that I've come up with to, to measure the week. Right? For me, and I think for most people, it helps to gamify the process. You can come up with a scorecard and keep up with your score. Much easier to make progress. But do what works for you. If you want to know more about that, leave me a comment and I'll go over that. Good morning, Vicki. Thank you for being here as well. Thank you all for joining me. I really appreciate it. If you know somebody else that can benefit from joining our conversations every morning, please do them the favor of sharing this video with them and inviting them to join you as you watch 7 Minutes in the Morning each and every weekday morning. That's going to be it for today. Your question for today, compared to what? Maybe, you know, i got a friend of mine that makes these little... Um, Little silicone bracelets, you know, that you can wear. Maybe I'll make one of those as compared to what? I'll help, help you remember who you're, who you are measuring against. All right. That's it. You guys have a magnificent Monday. I will, will be back if I can get my words out. I'll be back tomorrow with another brand new installment of seven minutes in the morning. Till then, you guys take care and I'll see you tomorrow.